Whenever it comes to getting a new hitch for your vehicle, there's three important things that you're going to need to know. The first thing is what size shank do you need on your hitch? Now this is the shank right here and this is the receiver on your vehicle. So you're going to need to measure the inside dimensions of your receiver to tell you what size shank you're going to need. So we'll go inside dimensions. We're at two and a half inches and you'll want to make sure you don't go on an angle like a TV. You'll want to go straight up and down to get the right measurement. With a, a receiver like this, this is two and a half inch. They make a reducer sleeve that you can insert in here so that you can run a two inch shank. But what that's going to do is actually that's going to reduce the amount of weight that your vehicle can tow by running that reducer. So then the next thing we're going to need to know is what ball size do we need to tow the trailer that we're towing. So if you look at the top of the coupler on your trailer, it'll have your ball size on there. This one says we need a two inch ball. So the nice thing with this B&W Tow and Stow is, is a tri ball. So we have three different ball sizes on here. We have an inch and seven eighths, we have a two inch, and we have a two and five sixteenths. So with this trailer, we're supposed to run a two inch. So we'll put our two inch ball there. And now the next thing that's really important is the drop. And the easiest way to figure out what drop you need is to put your vehicle on a flat level surface. You'll take your tape measure, You'll put it down on the ground and you'll bring it up to the bottom of your receiver tube and we are at 24 inches. So then we'll come over here to the bottom of our coupler and we are at 17 inches. So we'll subtract that 17 from the 24 and that tells me we have a 7 inch drop. Now another really important thing is you want to make sure that you use a level on your trailer when you're checking your height on this because if you're off an inch or two up or down that's going to throw off your trailer with the drop an inch or two up or down and that's going to uh, make it difficult when you're trying to tow something down the road with the trailer up too high or too low. The best performance you'll get out of your trailer is when it's in perfect line and straight level with your vehicle. The nice thing with this B&W Tow and Stow here is it's adjustable. You can adjust your drop. So even if you have another vehicle and another trailer that you want to tow, let's say your other vehicle sits a little bit lower. Um, you can adjust your drop here and let's say that the other trailer has an inch and seven eighths ball. So then you can adjust your ball, you can adjust your drop and you're good to go. So those are the three most important things you'll need to know in choosing the right hitch for your vehicle.